Hey guys, I'm here with a Bath & Body Works holiday candle haul. This is my second holiday candle haul. I did one a few weeks ago with just three candles. I had one exchange and then two new candles I got at the buy one get one sale a few weeks ago. And then I was waiting for another sale because there was a lot that they didn't have out then that I wanted and they have them all out now that I wanted and they had a $10 off sale. So I went and I got quite a bit here. This is a huge haul. This is, I got 12 candles and then I got some accessories and some candle holders and a few other things here. So I wanted to get these things because the things that I got, if you don't get them now, you don't get it, they're gone. They'll be gone and you won't be able to get them later. So I'm like, I need to get them now if I want to get them. So this is probably the most I've ever spent in one trip ever at Bath & Body Works. But I've been working a bunch of overtime at work because it's the political season and all the political mail has been crazy at work. We've been working overtime like crazy, 10 hours a day, six days a week. It's been crazy. So I am using my overtime checks to get some candles. So I didn't feel bad at all getting these because I've been working overtime like crazy and that's my justified reason for it anyway. So I got candles. I usually hardly ever get this many one time. Every, well, I would a few years ago, I kind of did. And then we were um, working on last few years though, we were trying to pay our debt off doing Dave Ramsey. And then we paid our debt off after we sold our house. So, and um, I worked this overtime. So I splurged a little bit and got candles. So, all right, enough of that. Let's get started here. I'm just gonna grab them go. I have them out here on the can uh, on the floor here with me here. So the candles, like I said, they were ten dollars off, so that made them drop them down to fourteen fifty, and then I used my twenty percent off coupon, and that that dropped them down to like eleven something. I can't find the receipt. I don't know what. I thought I put it in one of the bags, but I can't find it, so I don't know where it is. It's somewhere, but it was eleven something for each candle. And then the other things were 20% off too, and I'll tell you, about, tell you about those when I get to those after the candles. But first up, we're going to start out with the candles. So some of these are returning scents, and then quite a bit of them are new scents out this holiday 2020. So first up, we have a returning scent, Vanilla Balsam. I love this scent so much, and I've had it a few times before, and I wanted to get it again. I don't think I got it last year. I don't think I did. So this one is in the little packaging with the reindeer on the side. I like that picture of the reindeer. It's pretty. It's just on the front. It's not around the back. And then this lid just has a white barn lid with a little design. It's silver. Um, it looks like just like some greenery or some leafage or something. Or some kind of maybe garlands and berry designed around there if you can see that there a little bit it's pretty pretty lid it, in certain tints it kind of looks gold but i think it's silver it's like a silverish i don't know i cannot tell if that is silver gold this is silver i know this is silver i think it's gold that is gold this is gold it's weird because in certain light it looks silver but when you put it next to the gold or silver lid you can totally tell it's gold that's so crazy because right now I'm looking at it and it looks a little bit silver. It's weird, but then in a certain light, it looks gold. It's crazy. Anyway, vanilla balsam reads balsam fir, frosted vanilla, snow capped pine needles with essential oils. Yeah, this is so good. Basically it's just fresh balsam with vanilla. If fresh balsam is too much for you, too potent, too strong, and you want it sweetened up a little bit, Tone down, get this, because it's just that vanilla in there, it just tones down that really stringent fresh balsam and makes it really nice. Now you really get that nice creamy vanilla mixed in with that balsam. Such a nice blend and it makes it so good because sometimes, you know, it can be a little strong fresh balsam, can be a little, little too too much for me at times, but this is, you still get the best, you get the best of both worlds. You get, still get that nice fresh balsam but then that vanilla kind of smooths it out and makes it kind of sweet and nice and a little creamy vanilla. Love this one, so good. And it's usually really strong, so hope that's good this year. 
Next up, we have another returning one, Iced Vanilla Woods. And this is in the White Barn Core Collection. It's got the frosted blue glass around there. And it's got just the silver White Barn lid. Oh, and the I didn't show you the wax color on the Vanilla Balsam had the green wick or green wax, three wicks. Not green wicks. Well, they are kind of green. The wicks do look kind of green. A little bit. Because some of the wax got on the wicks. And then this ice vanilla woods had blue wax that matches the jar. Oh, it smells good. So ice vanilla woods reads iced lavender sweet vanilla ebony wood with essential oils. And this is really good. I've had this. It's been, I think, maybe two or three years since I've had this one. Or maybe it's, I think maybe it's, I haven't had it since it came out the first time. Was it three years ago or so? It's been a while since I've had this. I just never got around to buying it again. There's always, I'm always like, I normally gravitate towards the new things. So I, every once in a while I'll buy stuff that I bought before that I really like. But the majority of the time, I kind of want to just get new stuff. It's like I want to try the new things. I've always wanted to get the new things. Um, I only normally get something that I've really that I've gotten before unless it's something I really, really like because there's always new things coming out. So usually I gravitate towards the new things and I want to try something new um, unless I loved it and then I want to get it again. But I just, I wanted to get some things I've had before. So yeah, it's, you really get that. The lavender and the, uh, it's like lavender vanilla, but it's like got woodsiness to it. The woods is in there with that lavender and that vanilla. Oh, that's really good. And that's what makes it different because like, I like lavender vanilla pretty well, but this, the woods in here really makes it nice. Mm, that's what makes it really good to me is that woods note in there with that lavender vanilla. So good. Next up we have another returning one. I might just show all my returning ones first and then show the newer, new ones after that. Fireside we have up next. And this is in, I really like this packaging. It's in the, this is almost like buffalo checkered stuff, which, um, you know, I have some buffalo check in our house, but it's got like, kind of like gold in there with that a little bit with the black and the white and gray. It's got like a little gold brushed in there and that's all the way around. And then the lid is gold as well on the top. And this one has just white wax and three wicks. And this reads, smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, warm embers with essential oils. So this is really good. I've had this before. Um, it's been many years since I had this one too. I want to say maybe three or four years since I've had Fireside. It's been quite a while. Um, I feel like this one this year is a little bit, sometimes Fireside in the past before has been a little bit like, too much for me um it kind of almost you definitely get those embers in there the embers and then um what was i say the uh the smoked cedar the cedar and the embers but then it kind of sometimes would come off as a little bit like you know when you're at a fire pit or a bonfire and then you come home and then your clothes smell <laughs> the smell of your clothes after you're at a bonfire that's kind of what this reminds me of sometimes but that little bit of that clove in there kind of sweetens it up so it's not quite so just smoke, you know, just like smoky clothes after bonfire. It, that little bit of clove bud kind of like makes it a little bit better. There's not a lot of clove bud. It's just a little bit, just, a, just enough in there to make it a little bit nicer and tab it a spice with it so it's not just pure fire smoke. It's not as much as like, uh, pumpkin bonfire that had a lot more clove in it. It was pretty spicy along with the embers type of note, but this is definitely less spicy and more on the embers. It's, it's kind of like pumpkin bonfire, but heavier on the embers and a lot less on the spice in there, but it's nice. So I was really, um, wanting to try that again this year. Plus I like the packaging. So got fireside. Uh, let's see. Next up we have Another returning one, Crushed Candy Cane. 
And I really like this packaging here. It's really pretty. It's got the candy canes all around and then the top is red, like a glossy red on, on the top half. Well, a little bit more than half, just the top quarter top of it. And then the lid is red and the wax is white in three wicks, of course. And crushed candy cane reads crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, frosted mint leaf with essential oils. Mm, this one's so good. This one, spot on candy cane. Crushed candy cane. Um, I mean, it smells like the candy. So, like, if you got a candy cane and you, like, would, you know, unwrap it from the wrapper and then smell it, you can get this, too, but it, it smells like that, but yet, you know, when you crush the candy cane, like, if you would crush it, break it in half and crush it a little bit in little pieces of it and then smell it, it's even stronger because when you crush it, and break it up, those peppermint oil, the oils, the vapors and everything from that candy just like get stronger. You can smell them when it's not crushed, but then when you crush it, those, those scents really come out even more. And that's exactly what this smells like. I, oh God, it's like, I've never, this is like the most accurate scent I think I've ever smelled, candle or wax smell of a, of a candy cane or like, even like those little, you know, the little mints you get like at restaurants, little, red and white round disc mints that are little wrappers sometimes they have cinnamon ones and then they have the ones not the cinnamon ones or the green and chocolate ones they have just the white and red ones that are just pure peppermint it smells like that that and then like the white and red candy canes it smells exactly like those if you would crush them up mmm so good god it smells so good so I've never had this one before because I've always heard it's been on the lighter side as we all know, Twisted Peppermint is super strong. This is not like Twisted Peppermint because Twisted Peppermint is more menthol-y and, um, you know, it's just like clear sinuses, menthol-y, super strong. Um, I had that last year and I usually get it every year, but last year I got it and for some reason I did not like Twisted Peppermint last year. I don't know why, it just, it was too much for me last year. I just couldn't take it for some reason. I just, I couldn't burn it very long and I had to put it out. I put it in my candle crock and then I just, I couldn't, I had to turn it off. It was just, I couldn't handle it. I don't know why. And I used to get that every year, but last year was so strong that it just, I, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So I thought, let me try this and see if maybe it won't be quite as strong. And hopefully it's, you know, decent throw so I can enjoy it because it smells so good. Love it. And let's see, let me see what else is returning. Another returning one. This is a good one. Merry Cookie. And this is in this, I can't remember what this packaging is. It's the fairy tale or something, fairy land, something like that is what this packaging is. It's got the little cut out here. And that one has, is that a squirrel with that little house? I think so. Yeah. Or is that a chipmunk? <laughs> a squirrel or a chipmunk by the little house there. Um, yeah. And then it has, like I said, the little see through there you can see the wax in there and then the rest of it is just got like snowflakes on it and then those are see-through too so when it, the candle is uh, lit it'll illuminate through the snowflakes there as well on the back and then of course it'll show through on that it's really pretty and then this just got the silver lids it's got those some people are calling it broken glass lid I'm not crazy about those lids but yeah yeah I'm not real crazy about the lids I think they could have done something else but I'm not but they decided to do that, I guess. Anyway, Merry Cookie reads, fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, rich vanilla with essential oils. Yeah, so good. Buttery cookie sugar goodness. It's just, it's, it's a sugar cookie type, type of smell, but like, it's real buttery. Yeah, real buttery. Mm, really good. I've had this many times over the years. I've been a couple years since I've had this as well. I think two years ago. Or did I have it last year? I don't know, guys. My memory's getting so bad lately. Uh, I don't remember. I either had it last year or the year before. But, yeah, really good. This has always usually been pretty strong. So, I wanted to get Mary Cookie because that's always a good one. And then, let's see. Do -do 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 okay, here's a returning one. Well, let me do. Yeah. Vanilla Birch. And this is in this really pretty packaging, this frosted glass here. 
it's just all frosted glass. This is white, of course, and then, oh, I didn't show you the wax color. Sorry, I keep forgetting to show you the wax color in some of these. The Mary, Mary Cookie had kind of a cream colored wax. Yeah, it's like a cream colored wax. And then now, Vanilla Birch. It has the really pretty glass lids that has that design on it. Really pretty. And these are a little bit more. All the rest are $24.50. These are $2 more, they're $26.50 because I'm sure because of the glass lid. And it comes off here, but you kind of kind of twist it a little bit and then take it off. It's got little suction, plastic suction lip around it. And then when you put it on, she told me at the store to twist it to put it on, which you kind of do, or you, you kind of just, you kind of just push it down really. But to get it off, well, this one comes off pretty easy either way. But she told me to twist it to come it off, to take it off and twist it to put it back on. So yeah, um, this is, a, it says white barn there on the top of vanilla birch. And this one reads, White Birch Madagascar Vanilla Warm Sandalwood with Essential Oils. Yeah, this was such a good one. Yeah, this one comes out, this was out in the fall, and it, this they, have, they bring this out kind of like all through different seasons. They just had it out, I think, this fall in a different packaging. Yeah, it's so good. I almost got it this past fall, actually, so I thought, let me get it now because I really like this scent. Yeah, you really get the Madagascar Vanilla with that white birch. And what else was it? The white birch from Mad Madagascar vanilla. Or the sandalwood. Yeah, you do get a little sandalwood. It's the, I would say the sandalwood and the Madagascar vanilla are the stronger points. And then there's just a little bit of a white birch. Just a tad bit in there. But it's a really nice blend. I like it a lot. And I'm excited to try it again. Okay, I'm having trouble with the lid. Okay, maybe you do need, you gotta get it just right on there. There you go, and it snaps on there. Those are really pretty. And then, let's see, that's new, that's new, that's new, that's new. Um, okay, this is returning. This was new last year, I believe, but I didn't get a chance to get it. So I had to get it this year because I heard lots of lots of good things about this. The Perfect Christmas. And that, Jar is so cute. This packaging is so pretty. With the Santa in the sleigh and the reindeer and the red kind of iridescent kind of a um, decal, kind of like a on the top. It's not really decal. It's kind of no, that's not well, kind of. It's print embossed on there, kind of, but it's kind of shimmery red a little bit. Not glittery really. It's just kind of shiny, like iridescent kind of. Anyway, and then you've got like the little little stars. Those are our little little stars that are all around there. And then it's got stars all back on that side. All the little stars. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then on the top, it has a belt buckle, Santa's belt buckle on the top of the jar. Isn't that really cute? I would think that's so cute. So yeah, really, really cute jar. And this one is White Wax Three Wicks. And the Perfect Christmas reads Fresh Cut Pine Cinnamon Sugar Toasted Marshmallow with Essential Oils. Yeah, this one's really nice. I can see why people like it so much. Um, it's a really good blend of that pine and that cinnamon. Yeah, and then you do do you do do you do do get a little bit of a little bit of a marshmallow not a lot it's just a tad bit of a kind of a marshmallow in the background but mostly a really really nice blend of that pine and that cinnamon god it's so good mmm oh, I love this one I cannot wait to burn this one because if I'm gonna trust everybody's word that this is so good because I'm cool sip it's so so good yeah, that pine, that, that cinnamon sugar is just so good. And then that, just that tabbit of that marshmallow just totally like rounds that out and makes it really, really nice. 
So yeah, I wanted to pick that up last year. Like I said, last year it sold out super fast and then you couldn't get it anymore. They just didn't make very much or something. I don't know, but I, I wanted it because everybody was saying how good it was. And then I snoozed and I lost last year on that one. Next up we have, okay. <laughs> You're not gonna believe I got this one because in my last haul of my three candles, this is one that I said I didn't like. I said I did not like this one when I smelled it in the store. I said it smelled like kind of like a teenage girl's room. It's pink fairy grum drop. I can't believe I got this, but for some reason when I smelled it this time in the store, I ended, I was liking it for some reason. I don't know why I liked it and I didn't like it the last time I smelled it. So this has, this is in that uh, fairy land collection, whatever it's called. And it's got the Santa sleigh with the reindeer on there again. And it's got a little, like a little village or town below it there. And it's got the little see-through label there. And then it's got the snowflakes as well that you'll be able to see through on the back side. And it's got that shattered glass lid. And it's got white wax three wicks. And Pink Fairy Gum Drop reads Sparkling Sugared Berries, Pink Cotton Candy, Sprinkle of Fairy Dust. So yeah, it is very, you get the berries, you definitely get the berries, and you get like a cotton candy, kind of cotton candy vibe, not like spot on cotton candy, but like, yeah, it's very sugary, very sweet. Kind of candy-like. It reminds me of some candy I've had before. But I can't... Or like a... What does it remind me of? Yeah, some kind of real sweet candy or something. Yeah, and then it also kind of reminds me kind of like a... I mean, it does smell kind of like a teenage girl's room, like I said. Or like a, or like a young woman's cologne... Or not cologne, perfume... Uh, a younger woman's perfume, like I want to say maybe like a Victoria's Secret perfume or something. You know, I'm not, I don't know all the different perfumes of Victoria's Secret, but so I couldn't tell any names or anything. But it kind of gives me that kind of a vibe too. But I actually kind of like it. I don't know, when I smelled it last time for some reason I just thought it was too much and too sweet and just too much. I just didn't think I liked it really, but for some reason when I smelled it again this time I just, I don't know. I liked it. I thought I kind of liked it. I'm like, maybe I do like it. And I After all, it's not bad. I should think I kind of like it. So I'm just kind of curious. I've never had it before. I think it was out last year. Was it last year the first year it was out? I'm not for sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it, I think it was the last year or the first year this was out. But they brought it back out this year. So I thought, what the heck, I'll go ahead and give it a try. So let's see. Next up, these are the rest of these all are new. First up we have Frosted Forest. I had to call around different um, white, uh, white Barn Bath & Body Works. I have two different ones around me. The first one I called didn't have this, so I called the other one and they had it. So I went to the second store. That's a good thing about having two different stores close to you. You can call both of them and see which one has what you need and then you go to the one that has what you need. So this has the um, lid here. It's kind of like that. Um, I call it the Frozen collection because it kind of reminds me of Frozen, the movie Frozen, the wording and stuff looks like that. I can't remember what this collection is called. But Frosted Forest and it has like pretty picture of the trees and the snowflakes and all that stuff there and then it's nothing on the back. And it just has another tree over there and some snowflakes. It's pretty. But it's got that shattered glass lid again. And then green wax and three wicks. And, oh, it has a reindeer, too. I didn't see the reindeer. Where's that? Right there. Right there. The reindeer. So, Frosted Forest reads, Frosted Juniper, Icy Eucalyptus, Evergreen Branches, White Spruce, with essential oils. So, we got all kinds of, you know, evergreen and some white spruce. And then you got eucalyptus and juniper. So, this is a Christmas tree scent. And I, I like it. It's different. It's, you definitely get like the spruce, the evergreen. And then you do get a little bit of that eucalyptus and the juniper. 
but it's not too much eucalyptus because sometimes I, a certain sense way too much eucalyptus for me. Um, I used to like eucalyptus a lot more, but for some reason a little bit lately I've not. Like eucalyptus, eucalyptus well, I cannot say that today. Eucalyptus spearmint I used to love, but I can't do that anymore. It's one of those scents that I just kind of burn myself out on. So I don't really like that. I did do the eucalyptus lavender, and I did like that one because the lavender kind of helped tone down that eucalyptus a little bit. So this one's nice because you got that pine and that spruce, or the evergreen and the spruce, and it does kind of, you know, have that eucalyptus, but those it kind of tones that down. That eucalyptus is not, you know, super strong. It's just kind of blended in there well. And then a little bit of that juniper is in there too to kind of round it out a little bit. Yeah, I... I like it's different. I, it's not really, it doesn't remind me of any certain scent that I recall. I'm sure it's probably similar to some other ones and stuff. There's so many different pine Christmas tree scents. I cannot keep up with all of them. Some of them, it's very hard for me to dissect Christmas tree scents. I kind of, you know, I'll say it's either a sweet pine or it's real astringent. You know, like sometimes a white birch and fresh balsam will be real astringent and then other ones will be sweeter. But this isn't real super sweet, but it's not like real astringent either. It's kind of in the middle. Yeah, I think that eucalyptus and juniper has, has a nice little touch to that evergreen and that um, spruce. So yeah, I'm interested in trying that out since it was new. So I wanted it's nothing too too different, but but yet it is. Like I said, it's not it's not reminding me exactly of anything else. So wanted to try it out, see how it is. I'm running out of room over here. Next up, we have peppermint sugar cookie, and this is one that I was looking for, and finally found it. And this has it's in that frozen collection. That's what I'm gonna call it. And it's just got designs and stuff on here. Um, nothing on the back. Shattered glass lid. It's got like a mint green wax. And, oh, this had a little, uh, is that a fox on there? I think it's a fox right there. I think that's a fox. What does the fox say? Crushed peppermint. Vanilla extract, creamy butter, soft sugar cookies with essential oils. So this one's really good. I definitely get the peppermint. But I do get a little bit of a sugar cookie note, and I was really hoping I would, and I do. I heard other people say that they did, and I agree, I get one in there too. I was kind of worried, I thought, I'm probably going to get it, and I'm not going to smell no cookie note like everybody else did but I do get a little bit of cookie note yeah it's like a soft peppermint and you get a little bit of vanilla in there but then you do get like a soft little bakery cookie note underneath that mmm it's really nice yeah the crushed peppermint I mean crushed peppermint is what it says in candy um, Crushed candy cane says crushed peppermint too. Um, and then vanilla extract, creamy butter, and then soft sugar cookies. Yeah, it's got a little butteriness. Not as much butteriness as Mary Cookie has, but it's got a little bit in there. And then you get a little bit of that sweet kind of bakery cookie note underneath all that. Mmm. God, this is really good. I like it. It's not like, it doesn't remind me of any other peppermint scent because of that it's totally different it's not like definitely not like twisted peppermint it's not like crushed candy cane um peppermint marshmallow no because to me that was way more creamier it's not like that no it's not way as creamy sometimes that would uh, sometimes that uh peppermint marshmallow would even come off kind of chocolate like there's no chocolate in here at all to me it's not like an andy's mint or anything it's not like it's not like uh uh, thin Mint Girl Scout cookie because there's no chocolate. I don't get any chocolate or anything in here. And it's no super creamy marshmallow. There's just a little bit of vanilla added sweetness, but then you get that little cookie underneath it all. So yeah, I'm really excited. This is pretty new, I think. So can't wait to try that one out. Then we have Fresh Winter Air. And that's another one in this collection here with the frosted glass and that pretty lid on the top 
And this one is, this one was a little harder to get off. It's got white wax, three wicks. And this one, and this one reads, Zesty Citrus Fresh Peppermint Cold Evergreen with Essential Oils. So it just has citrus, peppermint, and evergreen. Okay, so this, I've heard many things about this candle. This is a very hard scent to describe, and it's, it's different. But, okay, a lot of people have said it smells kind of soapy. I'll agree, it's got like a fresh, kind of a soapy kind of quality. Um, some people have said powdery. A little bit. Not super powdery. Um, a little fresh, a little um, soapy, maybe tad laundry-ish kind of. Um, yeah, I saw that Doug from Hauling Wax and Brett Philly Candleman had talked about this having kind of a uh, a watery scent. Yeah, kind of kind of oceanic, ocean, aquatic, oceanic kind of smell. I could kind of see that a little bit. It's almost kind of summery scent, almost. But yet at the same time, it's weird because I kind of get a little bit of the coolness. I've heard some people say that they don't think they're, it's not really uh, kind of a icy, wintry. It's not like minty icy, but it's like something in here is giving me a little bit of a coolness. But at the same time, there's something in here that's giving me like a summery type of scent. It's really weird because you wouldn't think you would be getting icy, or not icy, but not really icy, but like cool, maybe. But yeah, at the same time, it smells a little summery too. There's all kinds of stuff going on in here. I wanna say it kinda reminds me of, for some reason I'm thinking, I wanna say from Yankee Candle, uh, Blue Summer Sky. I really wish I had that here to compare. For some reason I'm thinking it's reminding me of that a little bit. I, uh, I don't know why, but for some reason by my scent memory, I'm thinking it's a little similar to that. I don't know, but it's, I like it, it's nice. Because it's not, it's not like, you know, it's something different, it's a little fresh. It's not too soapy, it's not, and it's slightly, um, a touch perfumey. Um, little cool, little summery, there's just all kinds of stuff going on here, so I'm kind of curious to see how it does, but, um, yeah, I, I like something different to kind of change the stuff up. So, we'll see how that does. And then lastly, we have Peach on Earth. And it's also in this collection here with the frosted glass and the pretty lid on the top, glass lid. And this has got like a peach color, of course, blue, uh, fresh, I almost said blue summer sky, fresh winter air had the blue. And then my... Uh, White birch just had white, and this has peach color, of course, on the peach on earth. Let there be peach on earth. And then this one has three wicks white wax as well. And peach on earth reads fresh peach, sweet cinnamon, frosted vanilla with essential oils. So this is a really, it's a good peach scent. It, I heard people talk about it could be repackaged of like market peach. Um, what is the other one? Market peach and um, uh, Georgia peach. Used to be market peach and then made Georgia peach. I was watching Bren. She did a comparison video of all the past peach candles. She's like a really big peach lover and she buys all the peach candles. So she did like a really, really cool comparison video of all the past peach candles. So go check her video out if you haven't watched it already. And she talks all about the peach candles and trying to compare this to different things. Um, yeah, she said, and a lot of other people have said, it's like market peach and harvest, or not market peach and Georgia peach. And I agree from what I've had. I had, I think, was it Market Peach back in the day? I've had, I think I've only had like one peach candle before and I think it was Market Peach years ago. 
it does remind me of that from what I remember, but it's been so many years. It's been so long. And of course, I've always smelled them in the store when I've gone, but I've never picked them up. Um, you definitely get that peach with a little bit of vanilla. Not super creamy. It's not like it's not like peaches and cream. It's just a little nice soft vanilla with that peach to make it kind of soft and a little sweet, but it's not real super creamy. But the cinnamon. I've heard lots of people say they get that cinnamon in there. I kind of do a little bit, but not a lot. Just, just a ever so slight subtlety of a cinnamon. I'm wishing, I'm trying really hard to get more of, of, of cinnamon than what I'm getting. I'm like, come on, come on. I really want that cinnamon to come through because I'm like, that sounds so good to have that cinnamon with that peach and vanilla. So I'm like smelling really hard trying to get cinnamon. I think I kind of get it in there, but it's just a little bit. Kind of like the pumpkin candles when you think, I think there's a little bit of pumpkin in there, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I also heard Bryn was talking about supposedly the international label on the bottom. She had that one and hers was a lot spicier with cinnamon and then she smelled one that had just the the regular, like what, the um, American version or whatever on here and it was an international label and that supposedly was lighter on the spice and it wasn't as spicy. Mine's just the American one. I don't have the international one and this one isn't real spicy. Like I said, it's just a slight, every slight hint of a cinnamon in there. But yeah, I, um, maybe when it burns, hopefully some more cinnamon will come out because on cold sniff, I get mostly peach with some sweet vanilla and it's just ever so slight, ever so slight hint of, of uh, cinnamon to me in here. I was hoping maybe it would be more cinnamon and would it be maybe like, um, peach cobbler-ish, maybe like the filling of, of a peach cobbler, you know, peaches and like the juice and then like cinnamon. I, but I, it's not really reminding me of that necessarily. Like for instance, peach cobbler from Yankee Candle, that was an amazing peach cobbler scent. Like that was probably one of the most strongest Yankee Candles I've had. I had the Tuic Tumbler and it threw so good for me. Um, that and probably like, it was almost up there with like chocolate layer cake as far as like strong strength and throw goes for me for a Yankee Candle. I was so shocked when I burned that candle because we all know Yankee Candles don't throw very well. And this was only about four years ago or so. I had that and it was so good. It was like the best peaches and brown sugar and cinnamon and you got the crust note in there. It was so good and it threw so good for me. I just must have, got, must have got really lucky and got a really good one. I had a whole bunch of scent oils because that was amazing. This one's not quite like that because it doesn't have a lot of spices in me. It definitely no crest note, of course, but I it smells a little similar to that, but like the spice way toned down. And of course, no crest note. But I think there's hope for it. The, the, the peaches and stuff, it smells like that, but I just hopefully maybe just a little bit more spice comes out when it burns because that would just be beautiful but it's a, it's nice though i like the smell of the peaches and the vanilla so it'll i'm sure it'll be nice not really christmasy but i wanted to try it out to see what it was because so many people were talking about it so i thought let me try it out and see how this does all right so that is my 12 candles that i got next up i got this because these sell out super fast and i have never gotten one of these um wallflower units They've had them in different seasons and I wanted to get one before, but I hesitated and then they sell out super fast. It is the house here, the Christmas house that has the little light that shines up. It's got the house here. I'll show you up close here. It's Santa's workshop, it says here. And then you can see in the window, I don't know if you can see that in there but it's got like little toys and stuff in there. And then you can see in the window up there, in there with the underneath the wreath. And it's got like the glittery snow on the roof and on the chimney. And you got the window on the side there, window inside there. And what this does, it says, I light up. It illuminates right here. Where's the thing at? Right here on the back side. It's got that little light right there that when you plug it in, it's, uh, um, 
spotlights up on your ceiling right there. Merry Christmas. It shines on the back of the wildflower unit, wildflower unit up onto the wall that Merry Christmas right there. I'll insert some footage right here so you can see what it looks like when it's lit up. So yeah, so, so cool, so pretty. I've already plugged it in, tried it out, like I, you know, I just gonna insert the footage. It's really, really pretty. They've had these, they had one for just um, Halloween, it uh, spotlighted a little witch on a broom. I think they had one last Christmas too, but I don't remember what it was. I think it was Santa on a sleigh or something on the illumination, but these sell out super fast. So I'm like, I saw them and I'm like, if I want that, I better get it now because they're not gonna have them very long. So these are a little pricey. They are, uh, I don't have the price on here. I took the paper off. It doesn't have the price. If I remember right, I think it was $32.50, I think, for this. But then I used my 20% off and I it dropped it down to like $26. Still pricey, but super cool. I mean, I would normally never spend that much on a wallflower unit, but these are so cool. And I've wanted one for so long, I thought I'm going to splurge and get one. So I got this. Really, really cool. So if you want these, don't hesitate. If you see them, get them because, like I said, when they're gone, they're gone. They don't make a whole, whole bunch of those. And then these other two things I got, I saw these online and I thought they were cute and I thought it was pretty, but when I saw it in person, it was even nicer in person. I kept looking at it, I kept looking at it, I kept going back and looking at it, and I'm like, I think I'm going to get it because, like I said, once these things go, they're gone. So if you want them, you need to get them because these items here don't stay around very long. They, have, they are gone and they don't seem to make very many of them. I got the bear. The bear with the crown. Oh, isn't it so pretty? It is so much pretty, much more pretty in person than it probably isn't even going to be on here. It is so glittery and just pretty. It's so pretty. I just, I was surprised how much I liked it because this isn't typically something I would buy. It's not really something I normally buy. It's not necessarily my style per se. This is a little bit more like, oh, kind of teenage girlish or, or, you know, I mean, it's, there were little girls that were like, kept looking at these at the store, like they were in love with this thing. Um, I don't know, maybe I was channeling my inner teenage girl because I got the freaking pink fairy gun drop and then I got the, bear with the crown i don't know but it's really pretty it's so pretty it's just like a winter bear it's just like it reminds me because of the glitter it's like a snowy winter bear kind of i don't it's just like a polar bear it's just like a bear i don't know if it's a polar bear or not i guess kind of but it's really pretty and then the crown is really pretty on top it's really it's just really nice and then they had it on just display there with other stuff around it and it looks really good. I mean, like you can put the, the candles that's on top, you know, like that. So the pink fairy gun drop candle on there like that. But then these candles look really good on here. The, uh, the ones with the glass lids, those look really pretty on there. And then like, they have the uh, fresh winter air on display. Cause that blue really contrasts really nice with the white. It looks really pretty. Isn't that beautiful? And then of course you take, oh, I'm not gonna get this lid off with one hand. You know, and then you take the lid off and then you can burn it. Ah, uh, it's so pretty. I just really like that. It, doesn't, it just looks really nice. So I, the thing I like about this too is you can, you can set this out after Christmas. Like you can have it out at Christmas time, but then even after Christmas, you can keep this out because it's not necessarily Christmassy. It could be just for winter, you know what I mean? You can keep it out in January and February because it's just kind of like a winter bear, you know, with a, a crowned winter bear. It's got little eyelashes on it, so I don't know what this is necessarily because it's got little eyelashes. If you can see there, you might think it's like a girl bear. I don't know, but it's, 
it's really nice. I think it's really, really nice. So I got it. It was 39, isn't it 39? 39.95, 20% off of that I got on here. I can't remember what that dropped it down to, but it's 20% off 39. I think it was 32, maybe something like that. So they have the matching soap holder in that and I kept going back thinking, do I wanna get that or not? But I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if how, I was kind of concerned about how the soap fit on there, but I thought, no, I'm not gonna buy it. So I go up to buy this stuff and the lady there, the sales associate, really super sweet lady. She was really nice. She's like, oh, you're not gonna get the matching soap holder? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, I probably should. Because if I don't get it now, it probably is not gonna be there later. So if I'm thinking about it, I just need to get it because if I wanna get it later, I'm gonna regret it because it's probably not gonna be there. So I ended up getting it. This is the matching soap holder. It's a bear, the same bear, except it's got, the eyes are closed. It's got the eyelashes as well, but they're, the eyes are closed. And then the crown has actually got some bling on it it's got if you can see there it's got like little jewels in the middle of the crown on this one i'm kind of surprised they didn't have that on the big one but but it looks fine without them on the big one maybe because it's just it looks nicer because it's littler maybe i don't know but really glittery and pretty the only thing i was worried about is because the soap sits back here but like you put the soap here and then it it this bear is in front of the soap so you gotta like reach kind of in front of the bear to like pump the soap. So like, I don't know, I thought that seemed kind of awkward. You can't, you wouldn't want it sideways because then the bear would be sideways on your thing. And of course you wouldn't want it backwards because then the bear would be facing the back of the wall or whatever. So you'll want it that way, but then the soap's gonna be that way. So you're kind of like, but then I tried it out at home and it's not bad. Your, it fits right, your hand fits right above the crown to pump the soap. So yeah, it's nice. So. I got that, happy about that. And this one was eight, or I'm sorry, hold on. 18.95 and then 20% off of course. I think it was like 12 something maybe. Whatever 20% off is that. Wish I had my receipt, but I can't find it. All right, so that is it for my haul, my huge haul. Like I said, I've never <laughs> spent that much at one time. I've bought 12 candles before, but I've never bought these accessories along with it which were a little bit more pricey but like i said you got to get these things when you see them because they go fast and then they don't make a lot of them so they go fast they also had the um the the snowman that lights up and then has the snow in it like a snow globe it's like a three-tiered snowman and it's got like the three parts of the snowman in it and it's got this uh, scarf around it that was really cute too. I thought about me that that's a lot more pricey. That's like fifty nine ninety nine though, uh, or fifty nine ninety five. But it's a little bit taller, and I thought I don't know if I would like that on my coffee table here because it might be a little bit taller, and I don't know if that was gonna be too, too tall for there. I thought it would look really nice above my fireplace up here on the side over here above the fireplace on the mantel part over here, um, but. I didn't really want to put, light a candle on that because there's a little part of the ceiling above, right above there, not too far. And at our house, our old house, I had burned candles on my mantle previously and I got tons of soot above the wall, above the mantle, the fireplace. So I'm so afraid of doing that, burning candles too close up higher to the ceiling because I'm just afraid I'm going to get soot all over there. So I'm like, I don't want to do that either. So. I didn't buy that one and then they didn't have the only thing they didn't they had everything that i was looking for candles and accessories except they didn't have the snow globe that has a snowflake in the middle and then has a candle you, it's the holder you set the candle on top and it's got the round snow globe with the snowflake and it plays music they didn't have that one they were all out they actually she's i asked her about it she's like aren't you guys weren't you in here earlier and you bought one and you're asking about it and i'm like no, that wasn't me. And she's like, you have a twin out there because there was some guy that looked just like you that came and bought one earlier and was asking about it. So I guess my twin came in and bought one and they don't have any more left. So I didn't get to see that, but um, that's also $59.99 or $59.95, whatever. It's the same price as the snow, uh, snow globe snowman. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to see how that was. So um, I might check back and see uh, if they have that so I can check that out and see what it is. But, um, but I got the bear anyway, so... I was happy about that. So yeah, that's my huge haul. So 
Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to get started burning these and using my little my little uh, bear. I gotta put that on there again to show you how pretty that is. It's so pretty, I love it. I was so happy to get that. All right, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to y'all in our next video. Bye.